Welcome back to Rolling Solo. My name is Adam Smith. In today's unboxing video, I am excited to be checking out Company of Heroes, the board game from Bad Crow Games. Now, it's worth mentioning this came strictly from a Kickstarter and is not going to retail, so you won't be able to find this in a retail capacity. However, there are discussions already ongoing. You can find more up-to-date news on the company's website or even on Board Game Geek around a potential future and upcoming reprint for this game along with likely more content. Now if you're a solo player the base game here is going to be what you want to go after plus a really important expansion. And that expansion is called the Solo and Co-op Expansion, which allows you to play the game, the core game, solo or with a partner. It's going to feature a unique fog of war, an AI reaction system, as well as a whole bunch of preset scenarios and challenges to dive into. You're also not stuck to just playing preset scenarios and challenges within this expansion, but you also get a fully functioning free play system inside, just like the video game's AI multi player so this one is a must buy you have to have it in order to play this game solo when this game was originally on Kickstarter, what really excited me about it was, again, the focus on the adaption of the video game to the tabletop, of which I love the video games, but also want to mention the fact that I'm a huge fan of Band of Brothers. So all of that combined certainly piques my interest a lot higher than normal. So I'm very interested to see how the solo play in this one pans out. Now, what we're going to do in this video is focus on everything you can find inside of this book box here as well as that expansion I just showed but there is a bunch more expansion content you can pick up for the game and again all this stuff will likely be reprinted and available in a future campaign. The war has come to your table. This board game port captures the strategy, choices, and fun of the beloved video games. Players maneuver units from one of the four factions to secure resource points, grow their economy, unlock buildings, as well as purchase and upgrade new units. Players eventually unleash their team's powerful endgame forces to secure enough victory points if you're playing in victory point mode, or destroy the enemy's base in annihilation mode. And it states right here, play turn-based or in real time, so whichever way you're comfortable with. Play how you want to with multiple play modes over a dozen maps multiple scenarios and victory objectives the company of heroes board game is a unique mid-weight strategy game combining tactical squad combat and resource management the first thing you're going to find when you open up the box is the basic rules. There's also an advanced rule booklet underneath, along with a number of other things. We're going to put them on the table and go through each of them. Here are all the booklets and pamphlets and stickers and things you're going to find at the very top of the box. So we got the basic rules you saw moments ago, the advanced ones. We have a mission booklet for Company of Heroes. Also the sticker sheets, there's two of those. And then even a booklet around caring for your new miniatures collection. Let's start things off with the basic rules. So opening up the basic rules, we have the introduction in the top left hand corner here. We also have components listed out. It does state right here, good morning soldiers, welcome to your training detail. This army has produced some of the finest officers in the world and we are confident you will join their ranks soon. We are going to begin by teaching you the basics of command, maneuvering troops, combat orders, and all the important logistical details of supply that an army runs on. The army officer's training manual lies in front of you, but HQ has all also prepared a film reel to help speed up your preparations. Learn well and learn quick, soldier. The greatest threat to civilization in history marches across Europe and only officers and the men that follow them can stop it. So we'll continue on here again, components all on these pages. You're also going to see all the different factions laid out. Everything is color coordinated, which is nice. I believe during the Kickstarter, there's the ability to get painted tanks that are even more fancy, plus metal ones on top of it. But honestly, what's in here is fantastic as it is and everything is color coded. So keeps things easy to spot. Then we move into the objective, the setup, and so on. So this is just gonna give you a rough idea as to how the rule book is laid out. I can't go over every detail of this as it would take quite some time, but wanted to give you an idea as to what you're looking at. Now, in terms of pages, we've actually almost reached the back end of this book. And again, there's nothing solo in this one. Remember, this core box is strictly all about multiple players around the table. The uh, expansion that I showed you earlier is what I'll show you at the end of this video, and that will be focused right on what you guys are looking for. Glossary and index at the back, and an FAQ, and basic icons reference. 
Next up, we have the Advanced Rules booklet. Let's go ahead and look through this. It's a lot thinner than the other one. And as you can see here, we got the introduction on the left. We've got a how to use the Advanced Rules. It does recommend you use all the Advanced Rules if you're gonna choose to go that route rather than picking and choosing things. And uh, it's gonna go through just a couple pages here. It's not overly crazy, but I'm sure it's gonna have some additional levels of strategy built in through this booklet. And when you get to the back, we got the icons reference for the Advanced one. Next up is the Company of Heroes mission booklet. And this one's going to have a mission book guide here on the left going through every piece. So it talks about the map setup, overview, map features, the terrain pack features, game modes, as there's Annihilation or RTS. You got missions and maps from page eight onwards, how to set scenarios, advanced option rules, and commander FAQ. So let's just go through this real quick so you guys get an idea as to how this is laid out, but it's really going to explain a lot of what's going on here, especially around the miniatures how they're used and set up. You can see the train pack also being a separate expansion that you can pick up to really bolster the look of this thing on the table and make it stand out. But uh, it already has quite a beautiful set of creative artwork already instilled in the final product that I already love. Really like the final boards here. They look fantastic, the different maps. You can see all the different setups. Oh, they look so, so good. I'm really excited to give this one a run. Some of these require uh, larger maps, six to eight player expansions. So there's that as well. Eight player bundles, like all kinds of different options in here. There's some more advanced optional rules, the commander FAQ. And on the back of this one, a special thanks along with an ice matrix and the design team laid out. You'll also find a whole bunch of sticker sheets here, as well as a caring for your new miniatures collection. It's a one pager, but it's double sided. It talks about how to deal with miniatures that are bent. You can heat them up. You can move them into position while they're cooling in order to rectify that. You've also got the crafting of your miniatures to make your miniatures, if you're going down the painting road, a appear a little bit more interesting. So I like this. This is kind of like a nice little uh, help. And then you've also got a painting guide here with a QR code as and errata here with a QR code. It's also worth mentioning on the very back here it says thank you and it does mention kickstarter and GameFound. it was originally on kickstarter for funding but game found for the pledge manager next up inside the box you're going to find some token punch boards you're also going to find some recess player boards you've got some cards here and another pack of cards let's go through all of these up close Next up in the box, you're going to find two trays on the very top for two of the factions in the game. We have the US Army here and the Soviet Army above. Underneath of those, there's two more trays. We have the British on one side and the Germans on the other. 
The next tray going down in the box, we have some hourglasses, some stands, dice, cubes, all kinds, more dice, more cubes, and a bunch of things in order to help us to organize the infantry and other objectives within the game, plus some empty slots for things to be broken out, punched, and put into. Let's head down to the next tray level. After that, we begin to land on the actual game board itself. So for now, we'll put this aside. We're going to head back to the trays and take a look at the components inside each of them. With the covers now off of the Soviet Army and the U.S. Army, we're going to now take out the infantry from both the trays. And you'll notice inside the storage area here, we got a spot for everybody to fit. With all the faction infantry, tanks, jeeps, and everything in between, we're now moving to the next tray, which has even more components.
Now we're gonna head into all the game boards that come at the bottom of this box. There are four of them folded up. They're double-sided and they are quite large. This is the top side of one of them. And on the opposite side, here's what it looks like. The artwork on the game board in terms of what the world looks like really pops. It looks fantastic. The shadows on these game boards look fantastic. You can see examples of this with the trees and the leaves casting a shadow down here on this body of water. Over here, for instance, no shadows whatsoever. But up here, you can see trees with long shadows present. Here's what it looks like on the opposite side of that game board. Let's move to the third one in the box. Something else you're going to notice is how much these different landscapes are going to change. Also, it's worth mentioning in one portion of each of these game boards, you're going to have the name that relates to the actual terrain you're talking about. In this case, the monastery. On the opposite side of this game board, things get a lot colder in Stalingrad. The final game board inside the box has another wintry scene in Stalingrad. And finally, another scene that connects to the monastery. And that, my friends, is going to sum up the unboxing for the core experience of Company of Heroes, the board game. But now we're going to shift our attention to something you guys are likely very interested in, and that is the solo and cooperative expansion. Let's check out the back of that box. Fight together or alone. The newest threat from Berlin has just arrived at the front. An automated commander. It is your responsibility to bring it down. With an adaptive free play and AI reaction system, intuitive fog of war mechanics, and devastating random events, team up with fellow officer or go it alone against a fully automated faction. Prove your worth against five different artificial commanders, each with their own unique play styles and strategy, with dozens of units, veteran squads, and map specific adjustments each battle is sure to bring fresh challenges and different ways to play the solo and cooperative expansion implements an elegant fog of war system as it mentioned above that requires reconnaissance in order to reveal and gain intel on the enemy now this, this I'm very, very excited for. So when you first open up the box here, you've got an AI action deck for phase one. We'll take those cards aside and look at them in a little bit. We have AI instruction cards here. Take those aside as well as some black cubes. And of course, right off the bat, the one I love to see, a solo rule book. So let's go ahead and check it out. So in the top left-hand corner, you have an overview here. Welcome, Commander, to the Company of Heroes solo and cooperative expansion. This rule book will explain everything you need to know in order to battle the artificial intelligence alone or with a fellow human comrade. Because of the added complexity this expansion brings to the core rules, they recommend playing the core game a couple times until you're comfortable with the core rules, especially regarding unit and damage types. So long story short, you're gonna to want to actually play the base game, even though it's meant to be played with multiple players, maybe play it as a solo player on both sides of the equation to get used to how the game flows and operates before you dive into this expansion and start mixing it all in. Then you're gonna find the component section here. The setup is on the right they straight up recommend a specific map and map and a specific commander to go up against and then also start walking you through that You'll find sections inside the rulebook relating to spawning units, the round summary, the AI action cards, and understanding the differences between yellow assault, green control point, blue barrage, and red victory point cards, the AI instructions and how to actually see them and read them, and the reading orders up there in the top right. You'll also get full illustrations with examples as you go through the book. Also, the actual graphic design is beautiful everywhere. Uh, the revealing units has its own section, blue AI units, and you continue on event tokens, facing damage phase target selection examples what i really like about this rule book is that they do include those examples to hopefully hammer home what they're teaching without losing you along the way that's really nice especially in a game like this and you've got alternate rules at the back digital scenarios are going to be coming in the future so you have a qr code for that flipping over to the very back page it's even got an appendix and all the event tokens uh, are all labeled out here after getting through the rule book here is all the components laid out we're going to actually take a look at all of them up close.
up, my friends, is going to wrap up this unboxing video for the core box of Company of Heroes, as well as a solo and cooperative expansion. You also see there's a number of other expansions, even beyond what I'm showing here on the table right now. The Pathfinder Pack and Terrain Pack 1 all came as part of the original Kickstarter, but there's others out there as well. This one really is going to boost up that immersion level, or at least the table presence, by having that Terrain Pack. But long story short, for the reprint coming in the future, check out the Bad Crow game website or keep your eye on BGG in the forums in order to stay up to date on when that next reprint is coming. If anybody knows of the date already, let me know in the comments below because I'm going to be keeping an eye on this one in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, keep on rolling solo.